Uh, kind of comparison this time. Uh, last video we did Haze, Blaze, and Blue, and uh, how we kind of compared it to Blue Surfer, Starbuzz. So we thought that we would do Blue Surfer, Starbuzz this time, and compare the two as long as give you our thoughts on Blue Surfer. So uh, to start this off, uh, we referred to both of these last videos saying how Haze is basically kind of like a replica of Blue Surfer and how honestly Blue Surfer has a better taste to it it's a little bit more bold and Haze is kinda like that really mellow so uh... with that said just wanna um, show you guys a couple things real quick with uh... Yeah. the Blue Surfer and uh... Blaze and Blue already been said uh... this is about bowls this is this is a Vortex bowl uh, highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for something that's always going to give you perfect quality. Uh, it burns really nice because in the center, you, as you might see, there's that little ring right there. So you put it around it and you put the coals around it in like a sort of semi-circle oval kind of fashion. And it just burns better. Yeah. So they're like seven to eight bucks if you got some uh, spare cash definitely pick one of these up because they are worth it and also to tie in with that another bowl I know we brought it up earlier it's the split bowl you guys can kinda see that it's been burned a little bit but it's okay my opinion of the split bowl is that it's it's gonna be great for party mixes because you can always mix what everyone wants and uh, exactly you'll still get top quality flavor and uh... And this one we actually got at the oak smoke shop shout out to them Ooh. ten bucks for that and uh... i know that uh... they have a three three bowl one which uh... we're gonna pick up sometime soon but uh... to kinda relate back with what we were saying about blue surfer and haze i was even thinking that you know using your split bowl you can mix the two and you'd have the same kind of flavor and they'd probably mix pretty well you know uh... we've been smoking blue we've smoked blue surfer before this is the first time we've done it on a review and uh... i have to say you know it's a good flavor it's mellow it's nice it gives you a good relaxing feeling like all hookah does and uh, it's just a really good flavor to smoke on a beautiful California day like it is today. And uh, we're gonna smoke now. Yeah, we're gonna take a couple puffs, tell you how we think. Honestly, I would like to say that I don't have anything against haze. I don't. I don't. Uh, at least I don't have anything against them. I think they're a perfect company. They make really good flavors. It's just with Blaze and Blue, I feel like they kind of missed the mark on this one. And uh, with that said, we're going to show you Blue Surfer, see how it smokes, tell you our impressions of it, and then kind of move into referencing both of them. Egyptian hookah, Starbuzz hose. We're using a quick light coal because we're not smoking that much. We're just smoking for you guys to give you what we think of this one. All right, so here we go. And continuing on while Brandon's taking some hits, uh, as he's as he's smoking, you know, of course I'm smelling the smoke. And I have to say, the Blue Surfer also reminds me of Blue Mist. And I know I did a review of that uh, a little bit ago. I don't know if I've uploaded that yet. But uh, the thing is, is a lot of companies try and replicate Blue Mist, I feel like, in my opinion. And... Uh, I find that there's some companies that hit the mark and there's some that do okay and then there's some that just make a really really mellow flavor that is okay but not the greatest. And I definitely think that while Blue Surfer is a good flavor and it's really it's more bolder than Blaze and Blue, uh it's not as it's not as trademarked as Blue Mist is. Like, if you ask someone who has smoked hookah, is familiar with Starbucks, oh, Blue Mist, chances are they've probably smoked now, it. That's the first flavor that's always going to come up, because it's 
we all know and everyone else knows that that's the most popular. It's Starbuzz and all their blue stuff. They put that in everything. Code Blue, Blue Surfer, Melon Blue. It, it's in everything. And like MG Hookah said, check him out, by the way. He's a really good Hookah reviewer. He does vendor reviews, shisha reviews. Like he said, I'm going to go with him on this one. After a while, you will taste the Blue Mist. It's bound to come. It's just, they put it in everything. It's everything blue that they have, it has Blue Mist in it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's... And that's not to say the Blue Mist is a bad, bad flavor. It's actually a really good flavor. It's just that, you know, it's very common. And, you know, I think the thing is, is that it's just, you kind of have to go on your personal preference. Now to go off now to go off smell because after the Blazing Blue video we compared the smells of the two. I smell Blazing Blue and I get a really strong like raspberry blueberry mix, and that's that might just be me, but that's that's what I get from. And I blue and I smell Blue Surfer and I get just straight up blueberry. So I feel like if you like that kind of hint of raspberry and stuff. You might like Blazing Blue. It's really mild, though, so you might want to spice that up with a little tint of raspberry in there. Yeah, like we said in our last video about it, it smells bold, but it's not going to smoke like that. It's very mellow, and uh, people who like mellow, fruity flavors, then uh, give it a try. We're not a huge fan. I mean, it's definitely not the worst thing we've ever smoked, but uh, it's just way too identical to Blue Surfer for us, and uh, I think I don't know how Ben feels but uh, that's just how I feel about it. I de yeah, I definitely have to agree with Brandon that it's it's too close to Blue Surfer to say that I would that I like one or the other more. Uh, you know, they're both mellow flavors and they're both good flavors. It's just I can't sit here and be like, oh, I like Blue Surfer more than I do Haze Blazing Blue because I don't. I like them evenly. And uh. I would, the only thing I'd have to say is that, you know, if you're looking for price, too, because I know some people look for price, Haze, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is a little less expensive than Starbuzz. If I remember, because I was the one who bought this one. He wasn't there with me. Uh, it was by my school that I go to. And uh, shout out to Five Star Hookah for uh, all their quality stuff that they have there. They got everything. Tangier, Starbuzz, Hookafina. Hayes, even some of the non-known companies, they got that too. Uh, this little thing was probably like six or seven bucks. I mean, it's cheap, and if you're looking for a cheap alternative, I'd say definitely buy this because it's really identical. Yeah, so, you know, with that being said on the price aspect, if you're looking for a blue surfer or blue mist kind of alternative and you don't really want to spend the money on Starbuzz or you, or you don't necessarily like Starbuzz, then I would definitely recommend Haze as like an alternative. And, you know, it's a good flavor, it'll give you a good smoke, and for me, I'll give Blue Surfer a, uh, a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10, only because it reminds me of Blue Mist just without the mint. It's really good. Yeah, and, uh, well, he's smoking that. I'm just going to give my review on it. Uh, Blue Surfer is... I just see blue mist in it too much. I, I can taste it. I can smell it even in there. Uh, after a while, you'll definitely smell the blue mist. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with a 7.5 or an 8 because that's just how I feel. Uh, blue mist is a good flavor, don't get me wrong, but it's a little too common for me, in my opinion. I mean, it's what everybody smokes. Everyone knows it. Even people who don't smoke hookah might have heard of Blue Mist before, if you've kind of discussed hookah but you don't really smoke. Uh, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. And uh, so, you know, we'll try and cut this video down a little shorter, but uh, other than that, smoke good, have a nice day smoking hookah. Uh, if you guys have any requests or anything, uh, comment below or message us. Messaging us is probably better because you check our messages a lot more than we do our video comments. And we really appreciate it if you subscribe, because we're just trying to get up and going. And uh, we just love hookah, just like 
everybody else does. So uh, definitely just subscribe. Uh, it definitely won't be a waste of your time. We're just, just going to be yeah. giving reviews. Subscribe and, or like the videos too because either or helps us out and also gets us known and you know, if you like our video, then we can do something for you. And at the end of the month, I'm even planning on doing a raffle contest, too, for a, for a uh, big tin of a Starbucks flavor that I've yet to uh, of your decide choice. on. Uh, yeah, on your choice. So if you like our, if we get some likes, we get some subscribers, you message us with your... Uh, some flavors. With your that flavors we'll, we that you like. like. Try out. We, we definitely will listen, and we will definitely go get those, and... Smoke it before you do, so you know what we think. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So, you know, smoke good, enjoy your day, stay classy, and uh, see you later, everybody. Later, guys.